Hi, are you okay? So this is our first integration back in the A2 unit. We've got a few of these to do. We're going to try and get this into about three lessons. So I think that'll be the first lesson. That'll be lesson two. That'll be lesson... Oh, that can't be, can it now? I'll try and do it in three, but I ignore me. That'll have to be lesson two and that'll have to be lesson three. If it takes us a little bit longer, it takes us a little bit longer. The good thing is, though, because we've got the vid, you can kind of, you know, you can give yourself a bit more time outside of the lesson kind of thing. Um, right, so let's have a go at this then. So this is a recap. So it says, given that dy by dx is that, find the equation of the curve. So in terms of a plan, I want to integrate it. So that will give me some function of x with a constant on the end. And then I want to sub in the point, and that will find C. And then just write the equation out. Can't spell. So that's our plan for doing this. So let's see if that's what they did. There, there you go. So I've integrated it, so I've got a function plus C. And then subbed in my number, I've got C out of the number, and then I've wrote the final formula out. So I've gone back from dy by dx to, to y is equal to c. Question two says to find the area. Now, what you can do, because we need to know, because we're going to work out this area here, we need to know the boundaries on the x-axis. So I need to know here and here. So you could graph this and then look at the roots. So that's from y is 0. That will give us a plus or minus 2 out for it, but I'm only interested in the plus 2. So this is what this bit here has done. So y is 0. So it gives us plus or minus 2. But for our pick, x is 2. And then I'm going to integrate it between 0 and 2. So I'm going to integrate the function between 0 and 2, which is what this has done. So don't forget, when you're integrating, if it's got limits, use your square brackets. Then you sub in your upper limit, which is a 2, and sub in your lower limit, which is a 0. Always last year, when you're integrating, if you put zero, zero in, you've got zero out. But this year, we can have sine, cos, tan, e, ln. It's not always going to be a zero. So that gives me that answer there for the area. So hopefully that's okay. That's quite straightforward. Next. So then the area enclosed between two. Now this one's quite nice. I'm looking for this area here, which is enclosed between it. I see this as being the top equation, and I see this as being the bottom equation. Now what I need are the points of intersection, which is what it's asking for there. So I need these points here and there. So it says solve them simultaneously. So I put them equal to each other. solve it in poly. So it gives me x is minus a third or x is one. So that's going to be the limits of my integral there. To be fair, I could just graph it, couldn't I? I could graph both of them and look for the intersections. No reason why I couldn't. So it says find the area. So the way I do it, I work out the top one, which is the integral of, uh, so the top equation is f of x, so that's 2 minus 2x squared between minus a third and 1, and I work out my bottom equation, which will be the integral between minus a third and 1 of x minus 1 all squared, or x squared minus 2x plus 
Okay. Yeah. I'm going to cheat, I'm going to use my calc. If it doesn't tell you to justify the working, you can put it straight in the calculator. So, from that top one, I think that is 160 over 81. I might have got these the wrong way around, you know. And then from my bottom one, I get 64 over 81. And my, my enclosed area is just the top, say the bottom. So 160 over 81 minus 64 over 81. What's that? 96, isn't it? 96 over 81. Which cancels down now. I can divide three by three. It's going to be 32 over 27 units squared because it's an area. So I did the two integrations separately, snuck it on the calculator because it didn't tell me to justify it, and got it right. What are we on? Six minutes. Right, so we've got some general reminders about differentiation. How I differentiate the bracket and put it at the front and then deal with the other bit. So now we're talking about the reverse of it. So if you look where the A is at the front of all this, uh, in this case the P for that one, that always goes at the front. So if I'm integrating, it goes under there, 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 there. So to go back, I do I divide by it. So if I'm differentiating, differentiate the bracket and times by it. If I'm integrating, I differentiate the bracket and divide by it. It's confusing. Oh, yeah. Right, so we've got a couple here we can have a look at. So if I differentiate the 3x plus 1, that's minus 1, sorry. It gets me three. So instead of it being a three at the front, so the reverse it, it's a third. And then E stays the same. So I get that, so it goes underneath it. For this one, if I was differentiating, I would differentiate the bracket and then sort out the bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate inside the bracket again. But that's going to go on the bottom. So I'm going to leave that for a second. I might just ignore a bit of that. So I'm going to raise the bracket to the net power up, divide by the new power, and then move that down. Actually, I'll delete it for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one to the power. I'm going to divide by the new power. But I'm also going to divide by the bracket and differentiate it. Which would be 2 e to the 2x. So we'll put c on the end of it now. Let's see if that can be done because that would make a job. Now you're different. <laughs> Why are my packs different? Why are my packs different? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's sneaky. Why are you doing it that way? That's right, they've done it a different way. Add one to the power, divide by the new power, divide by the bracket differentiator. So that one, we're going to divide by the 5. This one, I've done it ever so slightly different, I think. See how they've expanded it all? So that would be e to the 3x minus 2 cubed or three lots of differentiate the bracket three e to the 3x. So if you expand the bracket, I'm sure it'll work because you want to like an e to the 9x divided by an e to the 3x. So you can actually see the first term coming out. So <laughs> I don't uh, oh, know. I'll be doing that. Never mind. Right, so I'll do it the fast way. Oh, good. Right, see you later for the next bit.